Ever pondered how a nation as influential as Germany came to be? Ever heard of the Second Reich? It's a chapter of history that's both fascinating and intricate. It begins in the aftermath of the Franco-Prussian War of 1871, a conflict that not only reshaped the boundaries of Europe but also paved the way for a unified Germany. This was a time when the 39 independent states of the German Confederation were brought together under one imperial banner, the Second Reich. The mastermind behind this grand unification was none other than Otto von Bismarck, a man known for his strategic genius and political acumen. Bismarck, a Prussian statesman, had a vision of a strong, united Germany that could hold its own amid the powerhouses of Europe. He believed that iron and blood were the building blocks of a nation, and he used this ethos to guide his strategies. Bismarck's approach was one of real politic, a pragmatic, no-nonsense style of politics that focused on practical considerations, rather than ideological or moral ones. This approach saw him manipulate alliances and provoke wars, all with the aim of achieving his dream of a united Germany. The Franco-Prussian War was one such conflict. Bismarck used it to stoke nationalist fervor among the German states, leading them to rally behind Prussia against a common enemy, France. The victory in this war brought prestige and territory, but more importantly, it provided the impetus for the German states to unite under Kaiser Wilhelm I. On the 18th of January, 1871, in the Hall of Mirrors at the Palace of Versailles, the German princes proclaimed Wilhelm of Prussia as the German Emperor. The Second Reich, also known as the German Empire, was born. This marked the dawn of a new era for Germany, an era marked by industrial growth, military expansion, and a burgeoning sense of national identity. So it was the Franco-Prussian War and the strategic genius of Bismarck that birthed the Second Reich. With the birth of the Second Reich, Germany entered an era of unprecedented growth and prosperity. The reign of Kaiser Wilhelm I, along with his son, Kaiser Friedrich III, marked a golden age for the newly formed empire, a period of remarkable growth and prosperity. Kaiser Wilhelm I was a man of iron will and strong leadership. His reign, though marked by political struggles, set the stage for a period of extraordinary growth and development. Under his rule, Germany saw a rapid expansion of its industrial base, with factories springing up across the nation, churning out goods for both domestic use and export. The Kaiser's commitment to modernization was mirrored in the realm of science. The period saw a surge in scientific research and discovery. It was during this time that Germany emerged as a world leader in chemistry, physics and medicine. German scientists and researchers were pushing the boundaries of human knowledge making groundbreaking discoveries that would shape the world for generations to come. The Golden Age of the Second Reich wasn't just about economic and scientific progress though. It was also a time of flourishing culture and arts. German literature, music, and visual arts thrived under the patronage of the Kaisers. The works of Thomas Mann, Richard Wagner, and Caspar David Friedrich, among others, left an indelible mark on the world, embodying the spirit of the age. And let's not forget the Second Reich's growing influence on the world stage. Under the first two Kaisers, Germany transformed from a collection of small, fragmented states into a formidable world power. Its military might, combined with its economic prowess and cultural influence, made it a force to be reckoned with. But, like all golden ages, this one too had its challenges. The Kaisers had to navigate political upheavals, social changes, and external threats. Yet, despite these hurdles, they managed to steer the ship of state with a steady hand, leaving behind a legacy of growth and prosperity. The reign of the first two Kaisers was indeed a golden age for the Second Reich. The period was marked by remarkable progress and development, setting the stage for the modern, powerful Germany we know today. It was a time when the seeds of greatness were sown, a time that would forever shape the course of German history. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. The Second Reich was no exception. The ascension of Kaiser Wilhelm II to the throne in 1888 marked a turning point for the Second Reich. Wilhelm was a man with grand ambitions, determined to put his own stamp on Germany. His first act, dismissing Otto von Bismarck, the Iron Chancellor who had carefully maintained a balance of power in Europe, was a clear sign of things to come. Wilhelm's reign was marked by internal conflicts and external tensions. Domestically, his policies were marked by a kind of bellicose nationalism and a stubborn refusal to make concessions to the growing social democratic movement. Externally, he pursued a policy of Weltpolitik, or world politics, which sought to establish Germany as a global power. 
This aggressive foreign policy, coupled with a naval arms race with Britain, only served to isolate Germany and heighten tensions in Europe. These tensions would ultimately lead to the outbreak of World War I in 1914, a conflict that would engulf the entire continent and beyond. Germany, under Wilhelm's leadership, found itself fighting on multiple fronts against a coalition of powers including Britain, France, and Russia. The war proved to be a disaster for Germany, and for the Second Reich. After four years of brutal warfare, Germany was defeated. The nation was left in ruins, its economy shattered, and its people demoralized. In the wake of this defeat, Wilhelm was forced to abdicate in November of 1918, effectively marking the end of the Second Reich. The once mighty empire was replaced by the Weimar Republic, a fragile democracy that would struggle to maintain stability in the face of economic hardship and political extremism. The reign of Wilhelm II marked the end of the Second Reich, a period of German history that forever altered the course of the world. The Second Reich left a lasting impact, not just on Germany, but on the world. The legacy of this period is multifaceted, with significant contributions in politics, science, and culture. Politically, the Second Reich laid the groundwork for a unified Germany, a monumental feat that continues to shape the nation's identity. In the realm of science, German innovation and research during this era were unparalleled, leading to breakthroughs like the discovery of X-rays and advancements in chemical engineering. Culturally, the Second Reich saw a flourishing of arts and literature, with the likes of Thomas Mann and Richard Wagner leaving indelible marks. This period also witnessed the rise of the Social Democratic Party, a political force that still thrives in modern Germany. Despite the tumultuous end, the Second Reich's influence extends far beyond its years. The Second Reich, a period of immense growth and devastating conflict remains a pivotal chapter in Germany's rich history.